Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitz One TV here, aka G133. I am back with another video on the channel for y'all today. And today we are here with your My Hero Academia Chapter 292 review. I could have easily done this video earlier in the day, but I fell asleep. Uh, unfortunately, I have to work today on Thanksgiving when I'm releasing this video. So uh, yeah, I need I, I needed to get some sleep before I recorded this, but. Uh, you know, I'm still here, you know, as always, giving you guys the My Hero Academia review. Uh, real quick, before we get into the chapter, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all my subscribers out there. Hopefully you guys are staying well and healthy, and hopefully you guys are also getting to spend some time with your loved ones. It's been a crazy year, and hopefully we can end it on a positive note. And God willing, we can go into 2021, you know, with some good vibes. So I'm really, from the bottom of my heart, Wishing you guys happy Thanksgiving. But chapter 292 of the War Arc, uh, this chapter ends, if you guys can tell from the title, this chapter ends with one of the biggest spoilers of the War Arc. And it, it mind boggles me. I did not see the spoiler coming. It's just, you know, every single week we get another bomb drop and it's just absolutely wild. I still can't believe some of the stuff I'm reading this far into the climax of the war arc. So much has happened, and trust me, you know, when we go back and make a top 10 of this arc, it's going to be really, really difficult because we just keep getting moment after moment after moment. I have no idea how they're going to fit all this into season 6, to be honest. But, you know, still, man, you know, uh, we'll get to that big spoiler at the end when we get to the end of the chapter. But this chapter is called uh, A Ray of Hope. So this chapter is clearly about the heroes. If you guys remember at the end of chapter 291, uh, we saw Best Genus finally make his return to the battlefield. So we believe that he was working with Hawks to stay, you know, off the grid, you know, for a moment like this. And we see Best Genus make his appearance. Remember, My Hero Academia has been off for the last two weeks. So uh, they left us with a huge cliffhanger as they went into their two-week break. But without wasting any more time, let's get into the chapter. So the chapter starts with Best Genius. He is watching Dobby's broadcast. Remember, Dobby is broadcasting to all of Japan, revealing that he is, you know, the son of Endeavor and what Endeavor did to him as a child. And people's reactions are shocked. All right. Uh, he has a uh, distaste for Dobby's way of making family domestic violence into issue of the whole hero society. He also says that he will not let things go Dobby's way, right? So uh, this is kind of ironic because in my, you know, I'm in college right now and we're studying, you know, family violence in class. And legit, you know, the issue between Dobby and Endeavor is an issue of family domestic violence. That's what it is. But he's making it public and turning it into an issue that, that you know, uh, that includes all of hero society. Because, you know, Endeavor, you know, wanting to be the guy to surpass all my, or if he couldn't do it, having a son that could, right? So I can definitely see where uh, Best Genius is coming from. So getting into more of the chapter, uh, we see G Best Genius, he's able to tie Machia together. He's able to use it with his, you know, his fibers, right? We see uh, Bakugo jumps out of Edith's hand and grin. And this is a big moment. Remember, Bakugo is critically injured. But uh, he, even he gets excited to see Best Genius return. You know, remember, uh, Bakugo interned with Best Genius way, way, way back, you know, uh, in the early days of My Hero Academia. And, you know, he uh, never got to reveal his hero name to Best Genius. You know, they never really got to finish their encounter because Best Genius, everyone believed he was taken out in the battle with All for One. But now he's back. So, you know, this is a huge thing for Bakugo. And I love the emotion he gets to show here. So, uh, Dobby is shown to be shot because he said that the dead body was supposed to be real, right? But uh, Best Genius said that Dobby was too gritty and it made him blundered, comparing him to a uh, <laughs> crudely constructed gene. So, I like how Best Genius is pulling out that comedy here, even though this is supposed to be a very serious situation. So Dobby says, even though Best Genius is alive, the truth about Todoroki's family is gone public and cannot be undone. 
right? Remember, Darby told everyone that Best Genius was dead, and he blamed Hawks for that. But as you can see, Best Genius is alive, and as long as nothing happens to him here, you know, Hero Society will learn that Best Genius is back. And they're going to need someone like Best Genius, because Hero Society has been wrong to its core with everything that's happened in the war arc. So having him as one of the top heroes is definitely going to be a plus going forward. But there's also another plus, which we'll get to in just a little bit. But even with Best Genius Alive, remember, the secret of Endeavor and Toya, you know, that's still out for the world to see. So, remember, there's going to be so many ratifications of this arc. So, we see Spinner and Shigaraki, right? They also got tied by Best Genius. Remember, Shigaraki's been mainly unconscious for the last, like, five, six chapters because uh, he's highly injured from his battle with Deku. And... Uh, we see Spinner seems to realize that Makia was weakened because Shigaraki didn't give him any orders, right? So Spinner's trying to wake Shigaraki up because Makia refuses to do anything without uh, instructions from his master. So definitely, you know, Makia, he's not going to cause any destruction unless Shigaraki tells him to. At the same time, we see Najir. He tries to attack them, but then Shigaraki awakens and suddenly Najir gets fired by a huge flame. Right, so Shigaraki does awaken. He remember he's still critically injured, but he is awake now. So maybe he will finally push, you know, the League of Villains to, you know, pull back. Uh, well, uh, we see uh, Shoto. He gets into a panic. So uh, basically, the fire that uh, Najir get hits with, right? Uh, it's a Force Quirk activation that Shagui, uh, that Shigaraki used towards Davi slash Toya, right? So. Deku sees this and he's trying to move because he wants to stop Shigaraki because he knows Shigaraki has that power of force quirk activation but he can't because he's so critically injured as well. So a lot of stuff happening here. So we see the other heroes, right? The heroes that are still survived, they're in a different area. These are most likely the ones that are near the mansion. Uh, they're here, they are fighting against the Normus, right? And... They, you know, it is stated that more than half the heroes are done for, right? So they're either dead or they've been defeated by the Normus. So at the same time, we see Burnin. He's saying that four of the Normus are going towards Shigaraki's place, and she's trying to stop them. So you see now all these villains are collecting together, right? You already have the League of Villains and Makia over there with Shigaraki. Now the Normus are trying to get to Shigaraki as well making a bad situation even worse. So, uh, then we see Shoto, right? Shoto is now attacking his brother, Dobby. This has been teased for the last couple chapters, but now we're at sea seeing Dobby and his brother, Toya, fight. And this is this wild, right? There's a lot of emotion here, brother versus brother. So, he confronts him about sending uh, villains to them, and... Uh, you know, that's where Natsu almost died. Dobby says, well, but that would make uh, Endeavor suffer. So we see here that the only thing Dobby really cares about is making his father suffer. It's, he doesn't even really care about his brother's safety. So Shoto gets really angry, and he says that Dobby has gone crazy. And Dobby answers yes, right? And he's saying, the reason why I'm crazy is because I cannot feel anything anymore. He says that he's happy he can finally kill Shoto. So we see Shoto Atsi gets burned by some of Dobby's flames. So Dobby's Atsi trying to kill his brother here, which is sad and crazy. I have the hope that potentially maybe one day Dobby will turn to the good side, right? You know, they made this reveal with Dobby being Endeavor's, you know, son. I do have hope for Dobby. It, it could take a long time, especially because he seems so mostly scarred and so far gone, but... You know, I'm not going to give up on him. You know, I used to have a lot of hope for Twice, but then Twice, you know, he was killed by Hawks. But I have hope for Toga and uh, and Dobby that one day those two will, you know, potentially leave the League of Villains and then maybe turn to the good side. It may take a long, long time, but uh, I do have hope for those two characters especially. Shigaraki, eh, I don't think so. You know, maybe Makia or Spinner, all right? Or maybe Mr. Compress, right? Well, maybe, I believe basically all of them have hope to turn good. But I think 
right now, for me personally, Dobby and Toga have the highest chances of one day, you know, turning from their evil ways. But we'll have to see. But at the same time we see, you know, uh, Todoroki, Shoto get burned, we see four Nomus uh, arrive. And Deku's trying everything in his power to move and use his script once again to help best genus, right? Because now he's getting surrounded, but he can't. You know, he just can't move. He tries telling himself, you know, not to be useless Deku, uh, but, you know, the useless Deku where he cannot save anyone. That was the Deku, you know, that was quirkless before, that didn't know how to control one for all. But uh, he still can't move. He's so injured. Ida is shown to catch uh, Najir who got hit by the fire. But in the last page, in the last page of the chapter, we see a uh, Lemillion. Yes, Miro, Lemillion Stones. He pops up from the ground using his permutation, and he helps Best Genius to fight. He says his famous line, power! And that's yeah. how the chapter ends. So, huge cliffhanger for next week's My Hero Academia chapter. We don't end next week with chapter 293. My Hero Academia will be getting uh, the cover of Weekly Shonen Jump and a lead cover page. And... Man, oh man, what a cliffhanger, right? Uh, Miria Togata, Lemillion is back, right? Finally with his quirk. We have not seen him with his quirk, of course, since the overhaul arc when he got hit with a quirk-destroying bullet. The scenario that makes the most sense is Aerie using uh, her rewind quirk, right, to rewind Lemillion to before he lost it. But who knows, maybe something else entirely happened. But if it is true, that Airy was able to help uh, rewind Lemillion back so he could receive his quirk again. That is huge. That is huge for so many reasons. You know, Airy, you know, regaining her power, right? Or at least controlling her power to the point where she can actually help the heroes. You know, who knows, you know, who else she could use this for on, right? She could probably use this on Deku. Remember, we, we've we seen uh, Deku and Airy work together for one for all, 100%. But maybe she can use this on Deku and, you know, take some of those injuries away from him. Because remember, we don't know how Lemillion got to the battlefield. We thought he was at, you know, uh, at the dorms. Uh, but, you know, here he is, you know, on the battlefield. And I have no doubt in my mind Lemillion and Best Genius will be able to take at least the Normu down, right? Maybe force the League of Villains into uh, at least pushing back. But we know how strong Lumillion is. It's been stated that he was probably the closest to becoming the number one hero, even though he was in high school. And I did not expect Lumillion to get his quirk back so soon. But, you know, here he is, you know, back with uh, his power. And man, oh man, you know, the League of Villains have something on their hands now. I don't even think Shigaraki could, you know, handle Lumillion as he is. Like, I'm telling you, I'm talking about Shigaraki that's injured right now. So... Having Lemillion back on the battlefield with Best Genius is a huge advantage for the heroes. And like I said, you're going to need heroes now more than ever, especially with all the deaths that the heroes took in this arc. But this could be what allows the heroes to finally take advantage and at least attempt to push the League of Villains back. You know, maybe Deku won't have to get back and fight now, but it's going to be interesting, right? Very, very shocking. I still can't believe that Lemillion is back with his quirk. I didn't expect it to get so soon, but it could mean so many things. You know, if Aerie can control that rewind power, man, so much can happen. So much can happen. Who knows? Maybe she can use rewind on All Might, and All Might can get, you know, his power back. But who knows? Like, who knows, right? But absolute crazy stuff here. At the end of the chapter, nobody, I mean nobody, expected Lemillion to be back this soon. I think we all knew that Lemillion would one day get his quirk back. It was not a matter of if, but when. But I did not expect it to happen this soon in this arc. But uh, it's amazing to see. I'm happy about it, right? Huge cliffhanger. Cannot wait to see Lemillion back in action because it's been so long. But, uh... Either way, man, let me know what you guys thought. What do you guys thought of the chapter? Seeing Best Genius kick ass, you know, seeing Lemillion return. There's hope for the heroes. There are hope for the heroes, and I cannot wait to see 
what happens next week. I'll be right back here uh, with My Hero Academia Chapter 293 next week, as always, guys. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the bell right next to my name, Fitz from TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. Once again, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you guys next week, as always. And until then, power! All right? I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys.